objective. Hey everybody, this is Grant with Team CSTN bringing you some hardcore domination. I'm using a hybrid class setup this round. I've used this once before and it is the CUDA SMG with the uh, Dracon sniper rifle with nothing on it. The Dracon is an amazing weapon in and of its own. You literally don't need anything. You can see here I just instantly start off this round with the triple. Amazing, amazing, amazing weapons. If you haven't tried this, you haven't tried these little like hybrid setups. Secure Back in the day, problem. I used to you know just stick with like one single gun. I would just use like an SMG with nothing else. And I get the last shot off there before that guy gets me. But uh, I used to you know just play with like just the Peacekeeper or just the Scorpion or just some other gun, and um, it ended up you know it worked really well in Black Ops 2. However, they killed my teammate there. Uh, however. In this game, it is amazing to use multiple weapons. Um, a lot of them are amazing on their own. Some of them need quite a few attachments, so when you apply the proper attachments, you can absolutely destroy people. And I have been finding that using a sniper with an SMG is amazing, just because the SMG has all the movement, all the speed, all the, you know, being an automatic weapon, you know, you can just pump out the bullets and get all the kills. But every once in a while, you just need to have that extra range. And that is where the sniper rifle comes in extremely, extremely handy. Um, in this round, I'm using UAV, Care Package, and the Talon. Um, uh, and, you know, we, we'd actually do extremely well, as you guys will see coming up here. Um, the attachments on the SMG I like to use, I, it varies. I, I always like to put foregrip and quick grip. I think that the quick grip is needed if you don't have quick grip you're just gonna end up being just a little bit too slow. Pretty much everybody that I know uses that and um, it is extremely Securing I like the foregrip just because it helps you stay uh, steady. It's very nice. And, uh, um, every once in a while, if I just use that, I'll use like, I'll switch between like having foregrip, quick grip and like uh, long barrel or I'll do like extended mags or laser sight. Laser sight in Black Ops 3 is amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, laser sight is just a stunning That's attachment a thing does a stellar job um using it on like pistols like the l car games i've had is just freaking amazing on the vesper uh hip firing with the vesper smg is awesome um it is such a fast shooting gun sometimes they ain't trying to aim down sight and use it gets a little bit tricky but uh um, using you know it, it, using it as a hip fire weapon along with like a sniper rifle or something like that it allows you to slow down your pace in the game and allows you just losing bravo destroy. Um, as you can see here you just get some amazing shots here with the dracon and you know I, I i've played a little bit with the other ones like the po6 and uh, the locust is my second favorite po6 is at first as you if you've seen some of my other videos i hated the weapon um you know it's like a burst fire sniper rifle which is extremely unique to this game but to me, um, uh, it's kind of weird. You pull the trigger, it like charges up and shoots three bursts. I've had some great kills with it. I've had some horrible kills with it. It's been just off and on, you know, not so great. The SVG 100, which I believe is the last one, that one's really cool. However, in hardcore mode, it is just too slow, unfortunately. And uh, because it is a bolt action, you know, you can't really throw like on a recon or anything to make it any faster. But the weapon's extremely powerful, and if you use it in regular mode, Security the weapon a. is just that 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 last sniper rifle is a beast. Plus, out. it's so futuristic; it's freaking awesome to use. Friendly care package um, incoming. See, so you're 14 and five right now. Um, absolutely, just wrecking the enemy. Um, but uh, you know, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about the sniper rifles? What do you guys think about these hybrid setups? Would you like me just to see me try other ones? I could even use it where I use like the L car and the sniper rifle. You know that pistol and sniper gameplay, which I think that a lot of people enjoy. Um, you know, and, and anything else. Uh, I've been getting my HVK 30 back up with all of its attachments, and I am looking to actually use four attachments on the HVK 30: is the um, quick grip, core grip, stock, and extended mags. And uh, you can you can just pump out a ton of kills without having to reload all the time with that weapon. So that's really awesome. Charlie, um, in and of its own. And then, uh, what score streaks are you guys' favorite? I tend to like to use the UAV, Cerberus, and Talon. Those ones for me are the best. They seem to be the highest kills and whatnot as, as you actually play. Um, but uh, you know, let me let me know what you, you think. Let me know what your uh, your thoughts are on that. Securing charge. And because uh, um, I, I, I would definitely like to Take like to see. From this. Um, I I am looking at doing uh, some, some zombies potentially on, on this channel and doing some uh, campaign 
would would you guys like to see that as well? I'm really curious as what the campaign is. I actually have not played it. Um, what's even one second of it? So um, uh, I'm kind of curious to see what it's like. I'm more so about Securing the multiplayer Charlie. and uh, all battle, this the war this fun on. stuff. Um, Bring your A game. But uh, yeah, this this uh, game is is absolutely amazing. This this map for me, however, I tend to uh, it's fringe. I tend to have either really great gameplays or have absolutely horrible gameplays on. Uh, it just kind of just depends on the certain teammates I get. Every once in a while I'll be in this game, all of a sudden my team disbands, and I literally have like me, one other guy, and they have like six people. I swear that happens to me quite often. You can see right here when I'm sniping on these guys, I couldn't decide who to kill. I was like, I'll kill you, oh god, they all saw me, I get away with position. I come back, get the hardest one to kill, which I think is the one in the truck, the truck, and uh, I proceed to miss the other ones. However, I redeem myself. Don't worry. I just love how freaking fast that weapon is. Me just boom, boom, boom. As fast as you pull that trigger, this thing will fire, and it has no freaking recoil, which is so beneficial. I love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah, and also like you know what specialists maybe I should try. I, I haven't tried like the purifier one. Um, I haven't tried uh, the gravity spikes guy yet. I've messed around with the scythe a little bit. Um, that one just for hardcore, those ones seem not to be as great. I've used the rejack guy, which is interesting. You know, I've gotten some funny kills where like I died, rejacked, and you know then the person you know, had no clue what was going on. They didn't pay attention to the green smoke that gets laid on the ground. But more often than not, people do pay attention to that green smoke and end up just destroying me. So you kind of just get that, like, uh, it gives you two kills, but it is kind of annoying dying, coming back to life, and then dying again. Um, I have not used the psychosis, which is what I just killed right there yet. And I don't, I, mean, I think I've used the annihilator like one time, as I, if you've seen my uh, pistol only gameplay. I uh, did not do too well with it, um, but I'd like to, and also I think there's Overdrive, which is the guy with the uh, gravity spikes. I'm not sure, you know, what, what to use. The Ripper one, I'd like to get a gameplay with. I think the Ripper's an awesome, awesome uh, uh, specialist ability. It also has an extremely low, like, uh, score that you need to get it, so you almost have to Ripper up all the time. It'd be kind of funny to do, like, a, a Ripper slash, like, uh, uh, combat knife setup or something like that. Like that. As you can see here, we go in with the talent, absolutely wrecking the enemy. So this is so much fun. If you can get to a good place to hide and you get the talent, you're good to go. Especially in hardcore because it's so few bullets to kill everybody. And uh, the talents and whatnot, Cerberus are still quite powerful, quite armored. So they don't just go down like super quickly. But uh, I couldn't quite find out where this guy was. Like, where the heck is he? So I ended up killing his friend over here. Um, you know, what, what are you guys' thoughts on score streaks? What should I use? You know, the issue is I have issues with, like, the wraps. I don't think they're good enough. Nothing like the dogs. They're, they're nowhere near as fun to play with or anything. Um, I like the Guardian. I like the Hardened Sentry. A lot less people use, like, EMP grenades, so that's a lot of fun. Um, I've been thinking about using the GI unit, although, from what I can understand, what I've seen is kind of a boring score streak. You can't get control of it. You can set it to, like, patrol or... Or guard mode, which is kind of neat. Can't do that with many other things. But to me, it's just kind of boring. You can see here the guardian. I kind of this guy caught up in it, but uh, he doesn't die, unfortunately. About three seconds from now, I almost get caught and killed by a guardian. Kind of interesting. <laughs> I lay down one and almost die by one. But uh, uh, you know, what do you guys think about like Black Hat uh, being able to steal other people's score streaks or other people's you know equipment that they throw down? Um, you know, that kind of stuff is interesting to me. It's always been been fairly interesting. It's uh, not been very fun for me to use in the past. And what kind of grenades do you guys like? You know, what what do we like to play with? I would love to try out some other uh, people's you know setups. See what they they've enjoyed or tried or. Maybe even some really hard or difficult setups that might be, you know, interesting just to see what, what kind of a, a score we can get with them. I'd be more than happy to try out anything that anybody suggests. You can see right now we're hitting a 40 uh, plus marker here. 41 and 9. Absolutely destroying, but you can see I'm not much of a team player. I have zero captures, but eight defense. So I do defend the bases. I do try to keep our bases when we have them, when I see people at them. However, sometimes I'm unsuccessful. And people spawn behind me just like that, and uh, yeah, it is something. It's it's true to the old Black Ops 2 way, where you know, in like Advanced Warfare, when spawns happen and everything. 
Um, style UAV you know, they were really random. They would just be everywhere. And in Black Ops 2, you kind of knew where spawns would be. And, uh, you know, you, you know they're going to end up behind you sometimes. And that's what happened right there. But um, as we end up uh, coming to the end of this video, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button. If you'd like to see more daily content, please subscribe. And again, thank you guys so very much for watching. And have a great, wonderful day. And enjoy the rest of the video. See ya. Friendly hardened sentry deployed. UAV inbound.